creepy in here. It sure is. Let's not stick around too long. Okay. All right. Well, there are four different ways we can go, as well as a box Another top we can box get. Top. Oh, this is kind of creepy music. Let's go this way first. Welcome to the Blubbers. Oh, thank goodness there's a bone fence there to stop us from going down that pit. <laughs> this is not Pajama Sam 1. We do not want to go down any giant waterfalls, especially since we wouldn't be able to go back up. Welcome to the Blubbers. Here's another box stop. I hope I can find 20. So this world is a little gross at times. Like, it's basically a world made out of flesh, which is kind of weird. Don't think too hard about it, though. Oh, um, hi, Granny Smythe. Hello, I'm Pajama Sam. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right. I'm Granny Smythe. That's Smythe. With a Y, mind you. Get it right. Yes, ma'am. And there's one more thing I want to say. What's that? Help! <laughs> Granny Smith apples are the best apples, I just want to say. It looks like more of the sweet troops around, although I don't think they're sweet troops. Stop I think it, they're just... You little whippersnappers! <laughs> I think they're just cans having a good time. Hey, bro. jumping for? It's not jumping. We're dancing. It's called the pogo. <laughs> That's the coolest can of soda pop I've ever seen. Do you think you could stop dancing so that lady could get out? Stop dancing? No way. We gotta dance. Don't mess with our freedom of expression. Oh my gosh, this is literally real life. <laughs> can you literally stop dancing for just two seconds so she can get down and away? No, man. Don't infringe on our freedom of expression. Don't you ever get tired? Us? Tired? No, especially not a dancing. <laughs> I mean, cans of soda tend to have a lot of energy, you know. Are you bored of this dance? Yeah, but it's the only one we know. Well, let me teach you this awesome new song. Uh, you can dance to it to the theme of Pumpkin Hill. It's great. Well, we can't do anything to help her yet. Oh man, that room is trippy. Uh, hey bros, what's up? I'm Sam. Mm. He doesn't talk much. You guys are all plumbers, right? Right! <laughs> Another great pun! The plumbers are all plums. It's just, it's just fantastic. Here's another box top. This game is so creative and imaginative and I love it. We only have four box tops left. Like what the heck, we're almost there and there are two whole worlds we haven't explored. How come you don't have a plunger like the other guys do? I lost it the other day while I was skiing. It doesn't matter too much since I mostly just handle the paperwork anyway. All right. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah. He doesn't talk much. What the heck? They have a watermelon in their faucet. Hey, dude, can you teach the soda cans to do that, Dan? Okay, no, apparently not. I don't think there's anything we can do with the plumbers here. What do you call what you're doing right now? Plumbing. <laughs> All right, let's let's not question it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this part, this quadrant is really tiny, especially in this playthrough. So, there are multiple routes in this game, like in many of the other Game August Entertainment games. Each of the delegates can be in one of two different places, although they're always relegated to their specific quadrant. So, we have got four delegates and four quadrants, essentially. So, Granny Smythe will always be in this quadrant. Chuck Cheddar will always be in the first quadrant. There are just two different places they can be in. If Granny Smythe is in the other place in this quadrant, then there are, like, two additional rooms we can explore. However, they're not here this time. I'm sorry, Granny Smythe. We can't help you. Come on, Sprinkle. Let's go. Okay. Thanks for waiting for me, Sprinkle. You're, you're, she, she's a gem. She's best girl. Okay, I think we'll go up here next. Welcome to the foothills. First box top. Here's another box top. Only three left. The first quadrant is definitely the biggest, I will say that. Welcome to the foothills. It's 
a cupcake. We also have Chuck Cheddar, a muffin, and the onion. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's explore the foothills a little bit, shall we? What the heck? Garnish. That would be garnish, dear boy. Do try it. Garnish. Excellently done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. All right, well, we got two stalks of celery here. Hopefully they're not stalkers. That would be that would make this a very different game. <laughs> that would be like if there was a dating sim based off of like food groups. The celeries would be the stalkers. Well, <laughs> you look pleasant. You look very prim. Say, I was wondering. Uh -huh. What do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. But doesn't apply if the door is, like, tiny and you're peeking up from above it. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? My name is Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. <laughs> what Sam just said is not something I would ever expect to hear from anyone in my life, but <laughs> if, if I'm just like, oh, hey, man, like, what are you doing today? It's like, well, I'm, I'm helping a carrot out by getting all of these delegates to a big conference. Uh, okay then, man. <laughs> I would suspect something is up with them. All right. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, young man. How may we help you? Have you seen anyone around here with a straw hat? A straw hat? I think maybe one of those beans at the construction site had one. Don't you, Selma? Yes, perhaps. But I do try not to think about those uncouth legumes. They make such a racket. It seems quiet now, though, doesn't it? Yes. Blissful. <laughs> Let's talk to... Hey, I was wondering... Uh, 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 what do we do when we see a door, young But we're already talking! You don't have to knock on the door every time you say knock something. It, I guess. This is not proper etiquette. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? Which is more important, etiquette or dancing? Etiquette. Dancing. Etiquette helps you to enjoy the company of others. So does dancing. Etiquette helps you do it properly. Hmm. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> the two com they're, they're, you can't compare country and western music. They're not two completely different things. Say, I was wondering. Oh, no. Uh -huh. What do we do when we see a door? I can't even hit escape to skip this because then it would skip the whole conversation, I'm pretty sure. Knock on it, I guess. Aw, oh, man. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? I like the way your door can open just on top. It's nice for a sunny day. <laughs> but when winter comes, it makes things a little difficult. All right, well, this could be the same celery that was offering a dance lesson. Knock, knock, knock. Excuse me. Yes? I have a coupon for a free dance lesson. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I can't honor that coupon right now. Not until I get some new shoes. New shoes? Yes. The sweet troops commandeered the old ones to use as cargo boats, and <laughs> I'm having trouble getting new ones. She's very hard to fit. That's right. I wear a size 37. See? <laughs> really, dear, must you? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> of all the things in the game, that might be the weirdest one. Like, the stock of celery that wears ginormous shoes that the Sweet Troops uses cargo boats. That's... <laughs> well, like, how do you even come up with these things? That's... that's fantastic. Alright, later celeries. Oh, um... What is going on here? Hi, how's it going? Lousy. We're on strike. We can't work with those obnoxious kidney beans. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I see your point. Kidney beans do suck. Kidney beans are best. Jelly beans rule. Let's talk about the kidney beans. What do they have to say? Hi. What's going on? We're on strike is what's going on. We can't work with those uppity jelly beans. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, kidney beans and jelly beans are extremely different. It's kind of amazing that the beans are working together in the first place, but uh, hey, you got a straw hat. Hello up there. Hello. Are you supposed to be going to the peace conference? Yes, but everybody is on strike, so I'm stuck up here. Okay. Well. Huh. <laughs> That's the same flying saucer that appears in Bolinorama for the bonus stages. Alright, well. well ign let's ignore the UFOs and enter the minecart building. Work is good. It's true. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh, hi. <laughs> is something wrong? <laughs> you look well, so enthusiastic, Sam. I'm the foreman here at the factory, and all the workers have gone on strike. It's a big mess. Oh. How does that kidney bean have a mustache? Why are your workers striking? I don't have the faintest idea. They've given me a bunch of crazy demands, but I think it must really be something simple. Yeah, it is. They they, they hate each other. <laughs> Hatred is simple, but hard to solve. What are those papers? This is all stuff relating to the demands of the factory workers who are striking. As foreman, I've got to sort it all out. What's that top one? The kidney beans want expanded restroom capacity. But I don't even have the figures about how many of them there are. I thought it was written here somewhere. Could you just go out and count them? Yes, I suppose I'll have to do that. Well, no time like the present. Okay, something's happening. A tin hut. All right, let's see. One, two, three. All right, as you were. Oh, he's counting them. Oops, there he goes. And they're back to striking. How come you don't want to work with the kidney beans? They think they're so great. They don't appreciate us at all. <laughs> I, I mean, it's hard to blame them. They're holding up a sign that says kidney beans are best. So, I mean, the, the jelly beans kind of have a point. <laughs> How come you don't want to work with the jelly beans? They think they're so great. They don't appreciate us at all. Well, that's because you're holding up a sign that says you're the best. Like you're superior to them. Which you are definitely not. <laughs> well, this is this is probably the simplest puzzle in the whole game. You just have to get the foreman to go out there and then swap the signs. That's it. You have a really great mustache. <laughs> Thank you. As foreman, I'm allowed to wear a mustache. Did it take long to grow? Oh no, it's a false one. We beans can't actually grow hair. <laughs> oh, that's great! I was actually wondering that. Oh, whoop, that's the wrong place to click. Do you have a lot of responsibilities as the foreman? Oh, yes. I've got to keep track of all sorts of things. Uh, paperwork and so on. A and I'm responsible for keeping this office stocked with office supplies. <laughs> they don't have the- oh my god, she's playing solitaire on his computer. Yeah, they don't have the stapler to actually do it for them, like in Pajama Sam 2. Eggplant, how dare they? Is that more demand? Flex time. They're asking for flex time. That would be unbelievably complicated with, uh, however many workers there are. Mm, I know it was here somewhere. Well, one more count won't hurt anybody. <laughs> Yeah, but it'll be really annoying. <laughs> and not exactly paint your business in the light that you know what you're doing. <laughs> A tin hut. Third airbrush, not more counting. <laughs> Alright, let's... Yeah, you literally... 
All you have to do is pick up this sign and swap it with this one. That is it. Boo -doo -doo -boo 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 -boo. All right, as you were. Yeah, like I said, like, a lot of the stuff that happens in this game is, like, fairly complicated, but simple enough that even the kids can understand the general gist of what's happening. Hey, look over there, what their sign says. Kidney beans are best. Hey, they do like us after all. Look what their sign says, over there. Jelly beans rule. Hey, they like us, they really like us. Well, that was easy. Why, I'll be. They're, they're working. I saw what you did over there. That was pretty clever. Thanks. And it helped me get down. Thank goodness. But Jim and Sam always helps those in need. You're a real hero. Well, I'd stay in chat, but I'm late for the peace conference. Bye now. See ya. Well, that's one down, three to go. Okay, so uh, that's a, definitely the easiest of all the delegates to save, not counting Florette. Like, what the heck? That's such an easy puzzle. Also, way to solve the problem. It's like, oh, these people are being rude and they don't appreciate us. These people are being rude and they don't appreciate us. It's like, you just trick them into thinking the other actually does it. You're not actually addressing the real problem. Also, why did they all decide to go on strike when Bean 47 was in the air? It's like, can you at least let me down so I can, like, do my own thing? No, we're not doing anything until the jelly beans stop being... <laughs> stop being such jerks. <laughs> It's like, really? Come on. Come on, guys. Well, <laughs> at least we were able to solve it. <laughs> Alright, that's, I think that's literally everything in the foothills, so. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure. Thanks for waiting, Sprinkle. Let's explore the last quadrant, shall we? quadrant to explore. 